Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Slovakia. The country is located in Central Europe and borders the Czech Republic, Austria, Poland, Ukraine and Hungary. Now the Slovak language is by many regarded as the most beautiful of all the Slavic languages due to its central position amongst them. This also means that the Slovak language is the most easy for Slavic people to understand. Now Slovakia is sometimes mixed up with Slovenia, but please note that those countries are not the same, hence the different names, flags, geographical locations, etc. Apparently Stav of Slovak and Slovenian embassies meet up with their colleagues once a month to exchange wrongly addressed mail. So that's what you get if you mix the countries up. A month late reply on your email. Yeah! The capital city of Slovakia is Bratislava, which is the only capital in the world that borders two countries, Austria and Hungary. My mind is blown! And the capital of Austria, Vienna, is only 60 kilometers away. My mind is... Well, kind of blown. No, 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 it, it's not blown by that fact. Sorry, no offense. The country's landscape is rather mountainous. It's especially known for the Tatra Mountains, with peaks of above 2,500 meters and glacier lakes that have been formed more than thousands of years ago. You can go skiing there and enjoy all sorts of winter activities. And the Tatra Mountains also form a natural border between Slovakia and Poland. I love natural borders. I seriously do. They're just much more authentic than all those straight lines. <coughs> America. <coughs> the country also has a lot of caves, more than 6,000. The most famous one probably being the Ochtinska Aragonite Cave, which is the only Aragonite cave in Europe. And if you're thinking, what the f is Aragonite? I'm here to tell you, don't worry about it. Unless you have a chemistry exam coming up, or you actually care about researching stuff. But since I don't fall in either category, all I can tell you is that Aragonite is a very beautiful kind of crystal. Anyhow, all bad jokes aside, if you ever get the chance, you should definitely visit the cave. It's incredibly stunning and definitely very unique. Slovakia has in total 180 castles and 425 chateaus. And with a population of about five and a half million, the country has the highest chateaus and castles per capita. So there's enough castles for everyone, or actually not. But there are less people per castles and chateaus than in the rest of the world. Their castles are incredibly beautiful as well. The most famous probably being the Spies Castle, which belongs to the largest capitals in Central Europe. Movies such as Dragonheart, The Lion in the Winter and The Last Legion were shot there. And the castle was even included in the list of World Heritage Sites. Slovakia also has many sources of mineral water and healing thermal springs, which are used as spa resorts many places in the country. Throughout history, many Celts, Romans and the incredible Ludwig van Beethoven visited spa towns to experience the healing effects of the town's thermal water. So if you're lucky, you may get to sit on the same rocks that Beethoven's butt cheeks have touched. Now let's talk about the Slovak people, because they're actually regarded as being some of the nicest people in the entire world. And according to you city guides, the Slovak women are some of the most beautiful in the world, only beaten by Russia and Brazil. But they were credited with the title of having the most beautiful blondes in the world. They're also very tall, with long legs. The gorgeous Slovak model Adriana Karambo even has According to the Guinness World Book of Records, the longest legs a model has ever had. And did you know that the king of pop art, Andy Warhol's parents were from Slovakia? Pretty cool stuff. Although he does ruin my confidence because I have to look at Marilyn Monroe's face everywhere I go. And that can be very hard for a young woman who isn't Marilyn Monroe. Anyhow, I guess we've established that Slovakia is an amazing country with so many incredible places to see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!